of the world's arable land, which equals a combined landmass larger than South America. But with expected increases in the global population, traditional farming is running out of space. And for as much good as modern agriculture has provided humanity, it's begun to take its toll on our planet. With 15 billion trees cut down each year, critical ecosystems are pushed aside to make more room for farming. Film Vertical is an amazing short story. Um, we learned so much in this film about indoor agriculture. All seems extremely helpful and like it is an amazing route to go towards. Because one of those documentaries that you watch it and you're like, why aren't we doing this? You know, like it just, it presents to you the idea, the applicability, the accessibility, the intelligence of it, and the examples of its effective use around the world. And you're just like, why is this not commonplace now? So it really presents its argument very well in ways that are not only accessible, but that really invigorate the viewer into wondering, well, I need to learn more about this. Why is this not more mainstream. Very well done. This was really fascinating to learn about. It seems like a really creative and very smart solution to the vast amounts of land that we use for farming. Um, similar to the creation of high-rise condos in very dense uh, metropolis cities, these cities ran out of land space and so they started building up. So yeah, it's like the, the same idea and it absolutely makes sense. Um, it was also really cool to learn that the idea came about in a university classroom, and it was a group effort over a total of 10 years, I believe they said, um, for this to come to fruition. So it really was like an organic kind of thought experiment that actually turned into something real and is making an impact. Um, I truly hope that over time these things develop, they become more affordable and sustainable and are able to grow more dense vegetables that can really help support communities. Um, I think this is absolutely fascinating and absolutely the way of the future. It gave me chills to hear the philosophies of Next Garden and Farm One and others on the ground running. Um, I really like the inclusion of the time lapse um, of the growth of the microgreens. That was really neat. Uh, props to the photographers and editors who put that together. Um, the 3D models included as well were effective uh, tools while watching. And I love the last quote at the end about uh, being the base for the next generation to stand on. Um, the design of this film overall was just as cutting edge as, uh, as these new vertical farms. Unlikely and improbable combination of not only being very educational, but also very inspiring. Um, and they're, during their study of indoor, um, indoor crop raising uh, and looking at particular businesses in Singapore as well as ones in New York such as Farm One and Next Garden, they're looking at the, the way that they, uh, they structure the indoor controlled agriculture is just phenomenal. And the visual animations are also very helpful in helping the layperson understand exactly what does vertical farming mean and how to what extent can this apply itself to as they say the next um, the next jump for a, a reliable food e economy um, very impressive camera work uh, I thought that the interviews were um, also not just just very engaging and um, informative by all means so very impressive uh, bit of work there. I liked it very much. I really enjoyed this one. It just checked all the boxes for me. Um, I was interested in the subject matter. I thought it was presented really well. Everything from you know the music choices to the voiceover to uh, showing the different applications uh, and how vertical farming is being used. Um, you know, in New York and Manhattan compared to like in Singapore. And I just, yeah, I love the way they pieced it all together and presented it. Thought it was definitely worth checking out. Yeah, I didn't know anything about the subject before. So as far as like introducing something, kind of hooking people with like 
the initial concept and then taking them through that kind of progress and progression um, was really, really effective. And it just made for like a really easy viewing because one thing kind of flowed into the next and flowed into the next. So I really, really appreciated that. And apart from that, like the film itself was just very easy to watch and it was very easy to listen to. And um, the interviews were all really well done and it felt like very well put together. Um, I really enjoyed watching it. This is something I knew absolutely nothing about and now I just want to go out and read so much more about it. This was a really good entryway into what it is and what the future may hold in this field. Um, for me, farming seems like a very pure and honest career and pursuit and in ways it is, but the way it is um, using the land and draining the land is quite alarming. So to be able to uncover this concept of vertical farming seems fascinating and a great step for the future. The, the time-lapse shots were incredible. And I also loved the opposing shots of vertical farming versus traditional farming, just to see the differences in how they adapt to uh, a more technological approach. Um, so many interesting facts using 99% water. That's incredible. Um, and I loved the one line from the woman in the piece being that there's no benefit in being fearful or pessimistic about things for the future. And I think that this very much captured it and captured some faults and flaws um, that need to be uncovered, but overall it felt very hopeful.